Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Dragonfly Gamer UK, and we are back in Stationers. I have done a few more minor changes to my base since our last session. I've now set up um, two LEDs showing my input power, currently 40 watts, and how much power I'm consuming, currently 100, sorry, 1,125 watts. Uh, obviously, I've got the battery there, which is OK charge, and I have another one over there. You can see the orange. That's OK. It's about half charge. Uh, while well, I'm here, just swap that over. Let's keep that going. Something else I did, I moved my uh, ice crusher around because that was here, so I have to move around the corner. Just sort of half hidden around the corner there now, out the way. Um, do I have any ice on me? I don't have any ice on me. Oh, wrong pack. Next one. Oh, oh. No, I don't. The other thing I've done is I've moved my shower in this little cubicle. It's got its own little light so I can see what I'm doing when I take my backpack and everything off. The, that's clean water now in there, and the dirty water goes in this one, so it's brown, that's why I painted it brown. That's like three sides to this now, so I can actually walk in, take my clothing off here, so let's just uh, do that quickly. Um, take all my clothing off. And then I can jump in the shower. And you see, because I've got the light there now, I can see what I'm doing. But, uh, yeah. The shower, there we go. Oh, and I can put my clone back on. Um, what I'm thinking of doing is making a little... Or what I will do, I think, is make a little cupboard. Where's my glasses gone? Oh, they're on my head, where's my... Yeah, it was after. Uh, make a little cupboard, probably up here, so I can just put my bits into it as I take them off, or maybe there. Um, let me see, do I have any cupboards on me? Do I have any in my backpack? Any lockers? Locker kits? No. How about in there? No. What have we got over here? Locker kit, there we go. So let's just quickly set up a locker. It's got to be a um, narrow one, because it's got to fit in that space there. Um, is that facing the right way? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, no, don't like that one. Although I could... A crowbar, is it? I've put it outside, that's why. I've actually stuck it so far through the wall. It's outside. Um, crowbar. Oh, careful, I've got to get the right thing. You know what, I think I'm going to have to actually go outside to get that. <laughs> if I'm not careful, I'll pull the window out with a crowbar, and then I'll be in deep trouble. Um, some precaution. <laughs> Where is it? There it is. So, why can't I? It must be the drill. I just mustn't have been enough sticking through. Ah, there we go. Yeah, it was just there wasn't enough sticking through. Um, so I put that away now. Um, I'll put some more frames around as well, so I'm trying to expand the base bit out here a bit more. Um, let's go back in, finish doing what we're doing, try not to put this locker in a stupid position. Alright, I don't like that locker, I don't want that locker. Don't want that one, don't want that one. Uh, how about that one? No, don't really want that one. That's a shelf. That's kind of what I want. Just make sure I get the right way. Which way is the front? Um, I'm not sure which way is the front on this. Let's just... Hmm, let's just try it. Try and see. And I've got it completely the wrong way. Let's just quickly take it down and do it again. Then. It's hard to tell which is the front on this. I think that's the front. That's it, there we go. Uh, there's only four slots in there. That's the only problem. 
so I can put a couple of bits in there, but not everything. Oh well, it'll have to do for now. If worse comes to worse, I can use that locker. Right, anyway, so there's our shower set up. Um, I moved my fridge again. I wasn't happy with it over here. So I've now moved it over here by where my locker is for my food and what have you. So that's, you know, nice and easy. And I moved my benches over here to be beside them. So that's all my food prep area here. Um, keeps that all together. I have laid some more foundation out here. I'm going to push. Hydration critical. I'm going to push this wall out, and I'm going to move that all my oxygen generation down that side. Let's keep that out of the way. How are you doing? Um, how's the air in here? Should be okay. Yeah, it's fine. So you can go off for the moment, and you can go into charge. Talking charge. How's my suit battery doing? 64%. That's pretty good. Uh, okay, and another thing I want to do is put some ventilation in here to suck in CO2. Um, we are now less than one percent CO2, so I plant on growing. Um, do not have the correct atmosphere of gas, so I've got to get CO2 in here fairly quickly. So for now, what I'm going to do is do that. So that's sucking air from outside into the building and that will slowly let my um, co2 creep up the pressure will slowly creep up as well yeah as you can see we've now sucked in pollution as well so i do need that battery back just to take care of that pollution but we're now getting our co2 levels 0.7 slowly coming up just let that run. It'll take a long time before it overpressurizes a building. Um, but doing that, let's sort out our water. How much do we have in here? Five liters and eighteen liters. That's okay. Okay, uh, food, I'll have some food while I'm here. So I was going to finish off... Oh, wrong one. This one. Finish off this can. Oh, not quite. Let's just... There we go. Let's get that can finished. And then that can can go with those cans. So yeah, so the changes I've made while well, um, I've been offline. So what I want to do now is set up the vent so I don't have to sit and wait of this one slowly replenishing the gas. I will I will do it another way. Um, how are we doing in here now? 0.9. It's getting there slowly. But again, that's why I didn't program these to be locked because I wanted to be able to turn these on and off as and when needed just to pressurize this room for now I did bring enough co2 into this room um, I want to get the co2 up to about 10 uh, percent that will suit me fine sweetness goes up a bit more and there goes the Sun <coughs> oh it's over there it's okay how are we doing in here anyway uh, still 3 megapascal. 39 degrees, that's fine. Okay, we're at point uh, 1 now, so getting there slowly. In darkness, in darkness, but at least we've got rid of the atmosphere issue, because these would die. So, now we've got a full battery. Let us uh, just go and get a few bits. So I want the pipe bender. I need a vent, passive vent.
I need a active vent. I suppose I'm missing some gold and copper. Put some copper in there. Gold anyway, yes, some gold in there. No, it's not gold in I thought it was gold. Oh, it'll be stuck in here, won't it? It'll be here. There it is. So, passive vent. I could do with two of these. I've only got enough for one. Iron. No, iron's in here. Pipes, no. Two of those. I need some cabling. One, one. I need some pipes. Gas pipes, where are you? There you go. Let's print some of those quickly. While that's printing, I'll put all this away, because I don't lose my alloys. Now where are these flying? All over the place. That should be enough. You can see you're hiding behind there. Yeah. Pipes, cabling. Got any on me? Not in there, not in there. Oh, I've got some in there. Um, I do have some. It's in there. Okay, I still need some more though. You can never have enough cabling. That should do for now. Um, IC. No, I've got the IC. Uh, sensor kit. Iron and gold. Let's put you in there, haven't I? Iron and gold, yeah. Iron, gold. Oh, didn't need two. Um, actually, I do need ice housing. Icy housing. I do need an icy. Because I filled the other one. I could work around it if I need be. Come on, hurry up. Turn you off. Turn you off. Okay, and now I see. What am I missing? Steel. Copper, silicon. Oh, we need one gram of steel. Mm, that's annoying. Um, what have I got up here? I have fifty, hundred. Oh, yeah, I can make some steel. Split that in half. Split that in half. on and bring feed us some gas. Shut oh. Come here. I 
I must get some dials on here at some point. Let's make my life a little bit easier. To temperature doing? Yeah, temperature's good. Here we go. Uh, which one do I need to see for this one? I just want one of them. Yeah, so put some more frame. We've got to put some more frames all the way around here to expand this out and start boxing this in. So um, I don't have to worry about storms blowing my bits away. All right, let's come in here. I see housing. You can go there. Cabling can go like so. Okay, I want, oh, I need to remove some of these panels. Where do I want my intake to be? Probably about here. So, pipes. Oh, and that's in the way though, isn't it? Do -do -do. Can I do it this side? I can do it this side. to there. 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 Okay. So that will allow me to suck the gas in and blow it through. Um, So, try to think how I want to do this. Um, what about pipes? We've got some more. How many have we got here? Four. That should be enough. Think about this. I don't want to do this. Yeah, and I'm going to have to break these pipes. Um, yeah, I've got to change this a bit. Should I dismantle the ceiling? Um, and have the gas out over here. The active vent on this side. Now I can put the active vent outside. I can put the active vent outside here. Yeah. So I can just get away with a passive vent on this side. Passive vent. I got another passive vent to go on there. Active vent there. Active vent there. Okay. Let's go outside. So I want a act 
active vent there and another active vent there. Cabling, oh, I'm not having enough cabling. Um, I may have put it too far apart for all my cabling. Yeah, I need more cabling. Um, how much more do I need? One. About three bits, I think, if that. One, two, three, about three bits. Cabling. Cabling, there we go. <coughs> that will do. Oh no, I hit the wrong button. Oh, um. Stupid me. Right. <laughs> Cabling. Cabling in one hand and wire cutters in the other. No, that's not what. Yes, that is wire cutters. Right. We will get there. Eventually. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I keep forgetting how powerful this jetpack is. So set that one to inward, so that will suck gas in, that one to outward, that will blow gas out. So that is gas out, Oop. gas out, vent. Gas in vent. And I can go away. Alright, you're down there, you can blow into there, so your gas out. Um, yeah, right, I need to do a bit of programming, so. Don't laugh. I know. It's painful watching me program. Oh, I need a sensor as well. Damn, 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 damn. Grrr. Um. Yeah, I'm going to need more cabling. Come on, come on, come on, come on, we're middle day. off again. Right, take two. CO2 sensor. Right. What do I want? Uh, there. Edit. Clear that. So alias CO2 sense D0 alias and in D1 
alias vent out d2 main jump main um, load r load r0 co2 sense pressure load r1 co2 sense co2 sense um I think it's com dioxide ratio no Uh, oops, wrong button. What, what is it? F1 sensor, uh, gas sensor, ratio carbon dioxide. Okay, I got it the wrong way around. Good try. I know cigar. There we go. Um, set greater than R zero. If R zero is greater than seventy five kilopascals, vent out on. Right, we're just uh, equals one if A is greater than B. Oh yeah, so that's right, yeah. R zero, R zero. So set R zero to one if R zero. Let's make it easier to understand. Mix it that five. Set R five to one. If R zero is greater than seventy five, so there's pressure inside is greater than seventy five, we'll turn um save vent out on R five. So if the pressure is greater than seventy five, if A is greater than B, yeah A is greater than B, yeah, then R five, yeah. Turn out to vent on. Set less than R6, R1, um, I don't know if it's 10 or 0, but let's say 10, no we're not, we'll say 0 0.1, and then set vent in on R6. So if the carbon dioxide ratio is less than 0 0.1, which is 10%, turn the vent in, vent on. And that should be it. That's everything I need, I believe. And then jump back to main. So I'll just run. Um, I know it's painful. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm not a programmer. Uh, so Banner screwdriver, sorry. D0 is CO2 sensor. Uh, venting is gas in vent. Vent out is gas out vent. Right. So he's on because the CO2 level is below. 10%. So that's coming up. It's actually coming up quite rapidly. I'm quite surprised by that. Just leave it to run. 
see what happens when it gets to 10%. That should turn off. If I've done this right. Up to 73 kilopascals. Okay, so the centre's picking up, it's 10% now. So it must be nearly 10 yeah, it's 10% there, so that's gone off. Pressure here is um, 74 kPa, so that one's not actually come on yet. So when I hit 75, or greater than 75, that one will come on and suck some gas out. So that's it, that's, a, that's as simple as it needs to be, basically, to... Um, to Close the door. Hide all the gubbins. That will now keep the CO2 levels right and the pressure right for our plant. So, with that running and the air conditioner running to keep the temperature 26 degrees and the grow light running to keep the light levels correct for the plants, we've got everything we need to keep our plants happy as long as we keep them in water. So one last thing I want to do, oh, why is that gone out? Why is that gone out? Are we out of power? Oh, how'd that get turned off? Very odd. No, I don't know, that turned off. Put the panels back anyway, it's working again. Leaves me to put the grate down. Right, is my helmet closed? Yeah. Strange. I can't remember what I was going to come out in here do now. Um, why did I come out? Oh, water, that was it. <laughs> So, uh, one thing you can do, I know you said you can't store your ices in these shelves, but you can if you put them in a mining belt. So I've got a mining, my old mining belt here, and I'm storing um, water ice in it. I've actually got some on me. I'll, I'll just, yeah, no, I'll bring it both. I'll bring it all in. That's do a lot. And I can go back in there for sort of keep their uh, safekeeping. Okay, how are we doing with our plants? Thriving towards fruiting. Wheat's growing. Soya beans are growing. Yeah, I've got plenty of food going. I've got all up there, and then I've got all of these cans here. So I'm not going to starve anytime soon. It's five litres. Pipe network's 20.9, that's now 6 litres. Okay, so I think it's about 20.9 litres for the pipe work, and then any excess goes into this canister. And obviously this vents gas, uh, the nitrogen gas. Waste tank caution. Uh, waste tank? Is that going to send a pressure above 75? No. How's the atmosphere doing? Oh, we've got some pollutants in here. That's going to just dump your waste tank. That's okay. That's okay, that's okay. Let's just... I just want to see if I can get the above 75 to get that to trigger. Seventy-two point four. I could just drop some oxide in here. 
That helps speed things along. There we go. So the pressure's gone up to 76. That one's come on. Okay, that's just confirming that's working. Okay, I'm happy with that. So 5.7, 5.6, 5. Just check it goes off when it hits 75. And there we go. Uh, the light that went out was a light in my waist here. I need to put a new battery in it. Alright, so you're all working. Here, there we go, got a light back. Saves my battery so much. So I'll be sucking quite a bit of power now. We had 26, sorry, 2.6 kilowatts. Okay. So uh, I think that's it for today, guys. Um, I've done what I wanted to do. I have set up my environmental, um, my greenhouse environment now. So we've got the right pressure, we've got the right CO2 level, we've got the right temperature, and we have water. Um, and yeah, that's it. I'll plant and light. Our plants will now grow, uh, will thrive towards fruiting regularly. Oh, is that finished? Yeah, it's finished. Right, let's just dump some more in here. It's going to keep that going, just to make sure I've got enough water in the system. So it's a whole 9 litres now. And 31.7 in the system. In the pipe network. Okay, so the pipe network can obviously take more than I thought. And how much is in there? Dirty water. 8 litres of dirty water. Um, I'm not sure how we'll clean that water, actually. I know what I was going to do. Show you as well if I can find the part. Airlock. Advanced airlock. Configurator. Network analyzer. Oh, where's your scanner? That might be outside. Let me just check. Did I... Come on, door. Oh, that's why. <laughs> right. Uh, do I leave your scanner card out here? Or do I not have one? You normally start with an all scanner card. All scanner, there it is. Right. So, I'll put in this one for this. Just to show you how it works. Close that one. All scanner. There we go. Stick it in my hand. Previously, before the latest update, why would I just put the battery in my hand? You fool. God's sake. Put the battery back in there. Put the, old, the tablet in my hand. Um, before the, the last update, you used to have to use that big round barrel thing. Um, what are you doing there? Go in there. Let me just show you. It's easier to show you. I will just describe what it is. Where's the big round barrel thing? There it is. This. You previously used to have to use this. To scan for ores. I'm just taking the battery off because I don't need it. That's it. Um, actually, let's put the battery to show you did. So you would normally turn it on, hit the scan button. It would have to be against the ground, that was the only thing. Hit the scan button, and it would scan for ores. Um, you don't need to do that anymore. Now, let's get dump that back in there. I don't want to walk around with it in my backpack, really. In my hand, sorry. Now, they have updated the ore scanner with the tablet. Because you need the ore scanner in the tablet to work out where everything was. You'd ping with that, and then you'd put the ore scanner in your hand. Turn it on. Sorry, my mouse just died, that was why. Um, yeah, so previously you'd have to ping that barrel with the ore scanner... Have the tablet in your hand and then you could see within a certain distance how far you were for away from um, ores. Um, this is before you get the lenses and then you'd have to try and 
work out where you were on the ground, switch to your drill, and it's not in flatten mode. Hydration oh, go away. I didn't drill down, you can see we found some um, water tiles here. Okay. And again, then you switch back and you go, right, where's the... Okay, why aren't you working? Oh, there we go. Yeah, you can see it there. More ore underneath the ground. You can't tell what it is. You just know there's ore there. So it's run around. So it's still a bit hit and miss, but it's a bit more hit and miss than trying to look for things on the surface. So again, there's ore there. Turn the drill on. To drill down. What have we got? We've got some iron. Yeah. So that's what you can use now at the beginning of the game to help you find ores and then is it an ore mined out? No, some more over here. Go this way. Where is it? Oh no, it's below us then. So then you can switch back, drill this again. There it is. Then it's a bit more accurate than or a bit better than just trying to look around the landscape and go Ooh, where's there some ore? Ooh, there's some nitrites over there. Um, it allowed you to actually pinpoint ores underneath the ground. So that's what I want to show you. That is a change they've made in the recent update. So you no longer need the um, barrel scanner, or scanner. It's now just all done with a tablet, and you can use it as soon as you start the game. Uh, because you start with the tablet, normally an orange tablet here, and the ore scanner card. So right, I'm just going to dump this ore scanner now. I don't need that card because I've got my funky lenders. Um, where did I put the other one? Plant analyzer, that's the one I want in there. Yeah, hopefully that makes sense, guys. Let me know if not. <laughs> but it's just a way you've been able to find ores earlier in the game. Right, I think um, I better go and get some water. And some food. Oh, I will keep going to the fridge. So I'm used to going to the fridge for food. How does our rice pudding do? How much does that use? Ooh, quite a bit. Right, chaps. Uh, right, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, please hit the like and subscribe. If you want to support me, I do have a Patreon page, which is listed in the description below. And I'll catch you next time. Dragonfly Gamer, wishing you. Good night.